the backseat of a rowboat. No clothes on the rowboat. Hello, everyone. This is CEO Gaming. And we're going to be doing album review number 12, uh, 13, I meant, sorry about that. Number 13 of Black Keys El Camino. I have to say, I feel like I like the songs off of Brothers more. Like, it just feels like the songs on Brothers sound better than the ones on El Camino, especially the singles. Like, I like songs like Tighten Up, Next Girl, and all that to be better than songs like Only Boy and Gold on the Ceiling. Except I, I think my fi the, even though this album has my favorite Black Keys song on it, Little Black Submarines, it used to be Tighten Up. And sorry, sorry if I'm n I'm not really the, a huge Black Keys fan, so I barely. I this is the only album I've listened to them fully. I probably I'll probably listen to Brothers and Attack and really release eventually, and probably even Turn Blue. But right now, this is the only album I've heard from them. Another problem I have with this album is. This album's called El Camino, and they don't even put an El Camino on the front cover. I think that's stupid, extreme. I think it's a stupid idea to call your album El Camino, not even put an El Camino on the cover. The I thought when I like when I first when I first saw the cover, I thought that's what an El Camino was, but it's not. And it even has here's a bunch of other of other vehicles. They aren't El Caminos. It's annoying. And then there's and then there's just these. These aren't El Caminos either. No, they're not. I just that annoys me. And if you're gonna make an album called El Camino, you put in you put an El Camino on the front. If you're gonna if you're gonna make um if you're gonna make an album called Suburban, you put a Suburban on the front cover. If you make a ca album called Cadillac, like Gold Cadillac or something like that. Uh, you put a gold Cadillac on the front cover. If you're gonna call your album El Camino, put an El Camino on the front cover because it's not an El Camino. These aren't El Caminos. So I think that was a pretty dumb idea, and that's probably the worst thing about this album for me. But I feel like lots of these songs, they just sound the same, and that's just I I don't like that at all. Like, just it's just bad. Uh, yeah, but this is I feel like this album. This album was. I'd have to say this is a 5.5. That's the low score I've given. It's not a bad score, but it's not a good score. Like it's a, like it's it's an okay album. If, if I gave it like a two or a three, it'd be bad. But I think five to ten, those are it's okay, okay to good. I think five, a five and six is an okay, okay or decent. Seven is pretty good, decent around there. Eight is good. Good. Nine is a great album, and ten is amazing. Like, like an album that you enjoy every single track a lot. Like, if it's an album where you just enjoy track the tracks a bit, I think it may it'd probably be like a six point five, like a bit. But I, that's just my opinion. But this album's a six, a, a five, five point five, and um. So that's the little score I've given. I like the songs I enjoy here and there, but. I just feel like it's not that good. Like, it's okay. Oh, uh, so that's kind of the end of this review. Oh, and by the way, um, look, you better look forward to um, my new, I'm um, my next review is going to be Foo Fighters, the cover and the shape, and then it'll be Weird Al Bad Hair Day, and then it'll be Tragically Hip Fully Completely, so those are my next reviews, and then I'll probably, I think even about, like, I plan uh, the next 10 album reviews, like, a few weeks ago, but like, and I'm like I I've gotten way more CDs since then, so like I could do it. I'm gonna probably do some albums that I consider tens, like I do, I uh, albums that I consider ten week, like I every single day I do an album that I consider tens, like a few tens, and I'd probably on the last day I'd do my favorite album of all time, which is Tool Ten Thousand Days, and I'd probably like do my seven favorite albums, except like set the for on the first day. Like, I started on a Monday and, and on a Sunday. Like, on the Monday, it's my seventh favorite. And on the on, on the Sunday, it's my favorite. But my top three favorite. Like, well, I can't really do... I guess I can't really do one. Because, uh, Gorilla's the Fall, which is my third favorite. I'd probably have to, um... I'd probably have to, um... Do another album, because I reviewed Gorilla's the Fall. And that's before I started giving scores to album. I just had my thoughts on it instead of really giving it a score so 
Just, I might do that. I can't promise anything, but it can happen. So see you in the next video, by the way. Moon, moon.